Hello everyone, this is Angel of Grace, and tonight we are going to take a look at Refinement and Enchantment. So as soon as you hit level 15, now I'm already level 16, I did my prayers and I leveled up. I didn't mean to, but I have him. Uh, this will appear right here, level up, and uh, you press U, and you're going to have different type of quests. So of course it's going to tell you to upgrade your powers and your features. And, but you will also receive a quest, and you're going to go to Protector's Enclave, which is the main city. And you're going to follow right here. You're going to see where to go. It's not going to be as complicated as this. You're going to have that little sparkling place and you enter uh, the sage shop so on the map is right here and then you just enter and you will see there's a lot of books you'll be able to read all the way around here and I think that's gonna be like, like that and then you can read it so I usually take them and read them later. This is all about the story of Neverwinter. And it's nice to know more. Like if you really want to follow the story. Uh, and it's a really great story. So I would encourage you to uh, gather them. And you press J. And you can read. So Black Lake District, Tower District, Protectors Enclave. And then you just read. It's pretty easy. It's very nice. I like that. And I think there's going to be like this one over here. Okay, so the first... Here the person is going to give you your first um, artifact. And I'll do that. I think it's around level 20. So I'll come back and teach you. You have to do a certain quest. And then in here... No, I think he's going to give you three choices. And you choose one of the three. And then uh, the chest will open. But right now, we are going to take to uh, Brother the Sage. And the first time you're going to talk to her, she actually going to give you three things. She's going to give you a minor mark of potency. Okay, and this is a refinement stones that you're going to need. So it's like a component to upgrade enchantment and rune stones during the refinement process. Uh, she's going to give you two enchantment. So for me, it's going to be Dark Enchantment rank 1, so it's kind of white. Uh, and then she gives you uh, the Ring of Warding. And there's already a defense slot in there, which is Dark Enchantment rank 1. So she gives you the, she gives you those three, and then you're going to talk to her again. Magic is like fire. The tiniest spark can become a raging inferno. She's kind of creepy. Uh, and then you have a bunch of things you can actually... What are enchantments? What are runestone? What are enhancement? How do I refine? How do I upgrade enchantment? And things like that. So you can read all of these separately. And it gives you really pretty much a lot of information. Which I really enjoy about this. Uh, so we're going to take refine enchantment. Upgrading an enchantment. Runestone. I'm going to give you a ring containing an enchantment, along with some additional enchantments to upgrade the first enchantment. In addition, I am giving you a reagent to use in upgrading the item once the refining is done. Go ahead, give it a try. So basically, she's telling me that she's going to teach me how to do that. And it says, when you accept this mission, open your inventory, right click on the ring of warding, so the ring she gave you, then select refine enchantment from the context menu. So we're going to accept this. I'm going to get out. And I'm going to go on a corner right here. So I'm going to open my inventory. And I'm going to do... She wants me to refine right, refine the enchantment of your ring. So you right click on your item. Because you can equip it. Manage an item enchantment. And you do refine enchantment. So refine enchantment. It's going to bring you to this. And I already have. 
uh, these two and it says click fill all refinements so I'm gonna do this and if I had more uh, enchantment it would all show up here and I decide which one I want to use so I'm gonna choose the one that she gave me so it gives me a plus 10 and a plus 10 okay and it takes me it gives it needs to be 20 in order to get a grade 2 so I'm gonna click refine and there it goes. So I have 95% of chances. I need just one of Regent needed, but she gave me 10. And they're going to be different. Uh, the higher you're going to get, is you're going to need more different region. Um, and then you press update. If you want, like later on, if to uh, upgrade to a blue or purple, especially even a green, I think. Uh, you can press, you can put ward, and uh, I think the first time sh they're gonna give you one. You can find some pretty much anywhere. You can buy some at the auction house also. Uh, you're gonna put one here, and it's gonna help you to get a higher a percentage of success. But right now, we don't really need it because it's pretty basic, it's still white. So it's just from Dark Enchantment 1 to Dark Enchantment 2. And we press upgrade and it says you can upgrade this item to it next rank the requirement a reagent will be consumed whether the upgrade succeeds or fail do you want to attempt an upgrade and you click yes and upgrade failure see this fail so I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna do it again and voila I got second one so I can continue and then if I want to do more of course I have no more but I can upgrade up to rank 3 and rank 4 and so on I think the the last one is a grade 10 so do I need to talk to her now yes I need to talk to her there is so much to see in this world. so refinement enchantment complete and she tells me well done and then I can't put the ring now, depending on your class, depending on your class, you might not want to have that enchantment in there. So, dark enchantment. So, the, it's a defense slot. And for this one, it gives me 40, uh, plus 40 lifesteal. Now, I would like to have uh, more deflection or critical strike. Lifesteal is kind of okay. Uh... And I will not equip it because I have the Ring of the Forest Guardian, which is way much better right now. But it's just to show you how to do it. Okay, and then you can refine. You can also go, if you have one that you're already wearing, uh, which I have none right now. So you could just click on it, manage enchantment. You see, refine enchantment. So you could do that directly from there also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get out of here. And oh yeah, that's my new pet, a Skeletor. Well, I call him Skeletor. Uh, I didn't try him yet in battle, so it's going to be uh, really interesting. So I have a, a little bit more pet right now. So I have... Um, I think it's, yeah, it's the Armored Arc Wolf. I have, oh, I should uh, start training him. Do I need to train him? No. Uh, I have Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> which is the cave bear. I have um, the skeleton, which I call him Skeletor. And I have the wolf, which I call him White Fang. And they're, all their stats are here, whatever they give you. So you try to get pets and companion that actually gonna help you during your battle but also if you look at active bonus like for this one's gonna give me uh, plus 55 armor penetration plus 55 recovery and it says apply to you as long as this companion is active so those are all active one that I'm actually gonna use which give me a gear score and more stats so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna log off with her and I'm going to show you my main character. So I'm going to change character right now. And 
I will log on with Toriel, which is my main. There you go. And what I'm actually going to show you, so see, I have all three artifacts, but I'm level 60, guys. You, you, you'll get there. Um, so, for example, I gathered a lot. This is These are all drops. Let rank 4 uh, enchantment. So, I, what I did before is I was just, like, selling them and not keeping them. And then I was like, eh, I should keep them for this. So, this is the refinement. So, I'm going to close this and close this. So refinement. So see, uh, I'm purple, so I went from green uh, to blue and blue to purple, and now I'm trying to get to orange, which is the max one. Okay, it's gonna give. It says heals you for uh, 8,690 over six seconds and removes any harmful damage effects such as poison. So equip, it gives me plus 300 recovery, plus 300 defense, plus 400 regeneration which is going to be awesome and this is what i meant by regen needed so this one i need one of mark of union one of greater mark of union and i need is it five no i need two for this one one for this one and i need five mark of potency um which i don't have right now uh those are special you get them from uh dungeons and uh, you can also buy them at the auction house from other players uh and and they are drops so what i am going to show you so i usually so you go down so i get this now these are just rank four so it's going to take me more uh, see, it doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really move very much. And I click refine, and it just advanced just a little bit. So I have still eighty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-five until I get to rank ninety-nine. So I'm rank ninety-one now. So it takes a while. Um, you can get blue ones uh, that you don't need. You can add them. It go a little bit faster. So I'm just going to finish these. And what it does, when I get all the way up to here, it's going to be giving me a rank 92. Now rank 92, it will get my gear score a little bit higher. So even the artifacts, not just the enchantment in your gear, but also the artifacts, it gives you an increase your gear score and also... Um, bunch it depends what it is but it gives you also uh, action points recharge speeds uh, it changes a lot in your um, your gear score and your rating now if I wanted I could also go here and do refine enchantment this one is a rank 8 I could get it to rank 9 if I wanted to and it's the same thing you use the same one I use them all but uh, you use the same thing. So it's pretty easy. Uh, it's very uh, easy. It used to be a little bit more complicated. And it didn't work that way before. Uh, but I think they made it just a little bit more friendly. Okay, which way I'm going? No, I'm not going the right way. I want to get out of here. So we're going to go back to Protectors on Clav. Uh, this is Sharandar I'm at right now. Which are um, a place that a portal in Sharandar. It's the Moonline Gate, uh, and you do some daily. Now we are going to get out of here, and I'm going to show you the auction house. So protectors on cloud. Hopefully, there's not. Too many people in the city. And okay. And then we're gonna go. Hi, his name is King Kong. <laughs> you see sometimes cool names. Poop. Okay, that's the name of the girl though, not the game of the person, but still. It's kind of very long for nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go to the auction house. 
I'm gonna take this away. Let's go here. And you're gonna go into refinement and enchantment. See, uh, they're really, really, like a lot of people sell them, but when you're low level, you, you're not gonna need to buy any uh, unless you really want a special enchantment that's gonna give you um, stats that you would like for your character. Uh, but these drops all the time. Normal mobs. You don't have to do dungeons or anything. Those are, are really simple normal mobs. And then you can go... Uh, when you get to level 60, you're going to have a little bit more money on you. And what you can do... See, for example... This is going to be really easy for you to get that. If you do your daily PvP, your daily dungeon... Uh, your daily foundry, you're going to get Astro Diamonds, no problem. You don't need to spend real money. So you can buy like 99 and I think four bunch of these, if not five, will get you from uh, blue to purple, which is great. Uh, and then the potency, uh, let me check. Uh, I think it's... So see ward we were talking about. I'm gonna press any. So these are the wards I was talking about. When you do refinement, the wards. So I'm gonna need a blue one, which is a perfect one to help me to get a hundred percent upgrade. And they probably have some. Let me check here. See these one. Those are the blue ones. And it's guaranteed a success upgrade. So you buy one and you get a guaranteed upgrade, which is amazing. So I usually, when I'm really high, I don't use the green ones because they can fail a lot. I don't really have a lot of good experience <laughs> with the green one, but the blue ones are really are, are great. Those are the highest one. And refinement stone these are the refinement stones see lesser mark of potency but you're gonna need see I need a uh, greater mark of potency they might not have any right now so I'm gonna check those are more expensive though okay so I'm just gonna click I'm just gonna type greater and there you go so this is stability and I need potency and potency usually costs a little bit more because they're more rare. Um, and usually people don't sell them, they actually keep them. Of power, of union, which, which one I said? Potency. Hmm. They might not have any. Unless I passed it. I might. It's like almost one in the morning. <laughs> Uh, power, stability, power, stability, union. Hmm. That they might not have any. Yeah. I was afraid of that. So. See, so I'm going to need five of these things. Okay. I think... There's a place, also, that I can get it. And... It's gonna be this person here. If I remember, I'm pretty sure that's... See, there it is. Greater Bark of Potency. So you can buy it for 100,000 Astro Diamond. But they drop in Epic Dungeon bosses. And can be found in Wondrous Bazaar, which is what it is right here. So it's not too, too bad, but like I said, uh, at the beginning you're not going to have a lot, but in the end just keep it and put it in the bank if you get some later on. But you'll see, when you get higher, you get better drops, and uh, if you do your dailies and you do your dungeons, you're going to have uh, Astro Diamond really, really easy. So guys, this is a quick tutorial 
on enchantment and refinement. I mean, it's not really difficult, but if you have any questions, if you want, if I miss something, or if you want more information, I'm always available for questions. Uh, you just have to ask them in the description below, in the comment below, sorry, and also in the game. You just add me or uh, direct message me on Twitter or also on YouTube or on my Facebook page and I will add you no problem I have no problem with that and I can help you out I'm level 60 so if you want to do a certain type of low dungeon like 20s and 30s uh, if you want to do solo it just with me it's fine I can absolutely do that for you guys and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you soon Angel of Grace sign out bye